Yeah. Yeah, hello, Dave. Turn on channel 6A. Why, what's on? Just, just do it. Okay, okay, but I'm, I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to hang up because I can't reach the, the television from here. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, next please, let's let's hurry up. Hi. Uh, this is the first time I ever really done nothing real. I mean I was in playing school and stuff, but I never really done nothing real, nothing uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, just sit in the chair there, please, thank you. The what here? No, uh, the one outside in the lobby. I uh, uh, sit down there. Sit down, sir. Yeah. Like I said, I never, I never really done nothing real, huh? Okay, you're a writer, and you just finished typing your lit. No, no, I'm not, I'm not a writer. I'm an actor. Act as though you're a writer. Now you just finished typing your latest work. Then look directly at the camera and say what we asked you to memorize earlier. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, I used to be a runaway. Huh? No. Finish typing your latest work, then talk. Oh, my latest work was I was in a play in school where I was a T-Sum. But like I said, I never really done nothing real. Ha ha. Just, just start typing. Just, just start typing. Uh huh? Uh-huh. Yay! Okay, you're a writer and you just finished typing your latest work. Then look into the camera and say your line. I do, man. It's damn light out my face. I wear my what? I'm a writer? That's correct. Just type something, then say your line, looking directly into the camera. I. Just finished my latest work. Hi. I used to be a drug dealing, dope smoking, junkie type young man. Then I enrolled myself into the Institute of Better Career Opportunities. Yeah, that's what I done. Now I make almost as much money as I did selling crack. BCO got me off the streets and back on my feet. Now I own a home, a car, a dog, and a swing set. That's me, the man of the future. A demand with the future, yeah. You didn't even look at the script, did you? Nah, I ain't even get one. I was absent that day. Mine just broke your damn machine, huh? Yeah, I'm gone. Y'all let me know if I got that job, though, I. Right? And you've had plenty of acting experience before? I have had more acting experience than a forest has trees. Uh-huh. Okay, well, we're ready to go when you are. Ah, but I am always ready. Ready to expose my soul to the world, to dedicate my life to the human experience, to jump into a character like a fireman jumps into his uniform on a rescue mission to save a burning infant. And so, my good man, it is I, in fact, who am ready when you are. Uh-huh. Okay, well, we're ready now. Fine. At last, I have finished the greatest novel the world has yet to behold. Hi. Not long ago, I used to be a streetwise punk. 
a mischievous brat with the mind of a brain-damaged reptile. Then it struck me. I needed to advance my intelligence to such a degree that merely holding a conversation with me would be struggle enough for suicide. That's when I stumbled upon a better institute for career opportunity betterment. Okay, thank you. Not good enough for you, maybe? Have you had any experience in acting before? Um, I haven't done anything professional, but uh, I'm just very interested in it and hope to make it my career. Okay, well, give it a shot. Okay. You know, I wasn't always this fortunate. In fact, I used to wander the streets wondering what I was going to do with my life. That's when someone told me about the Institute of Better Career Opportunities. I thought, that's not for me. I don't have a career to begin with. I wouldn't know where to start. And he said, give it a shot. And I did. And after just a few days of evaluation of my knowledge and talent that I didn't even know I had, they said, son, you're a writer. And a year later, I am a writer. I owe my life to this place, and about $4,000, but that's beside the point. If it weren't for BCO, I, well, I just don't know. It's your life. Make it. Okay, that was pretty good. Not bad. We'll let you know. Thanks. That was Dave, right? Turn that goddamn camera off now. Hi everybody, my name is Binko the Bear, and I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Actually, I'm a hostage here in Twitter. Five years old and down. Or if you're a little older, it's okay too. Alright, subject for today, kids, is um, we're gonna make an amusement toy for your entertainment so that you can play with it on your days off. The site's called Kids Days Off. Okay, tools will be needing, uh, starting from your right. Uh, you got your tape. You got your scissors, you got your correction fluid, you got your hammer, you got a piece of cardboard with some tacks in it, you got a Phillips screwdriver, you got your regular screwdriver, you got a spray paint and spray it's in your eyes, kids are hurts like hell. And you got your ordinary kitchen knife, real long like. Okay, alright, now what's the first thing you do? is to separate your tools from the appliances you will actually be applying tools to. Okay, if I'm going too fast, oh, it's too damn bad, you should be in school anyway. Oh, me, all right. Okay, so we'll separate our tools. We've got our hammer over here, our screwdriver over there, the other one with the knife is actually involved. Place the knife on the cardboard, Okay, tape is involved. Wait a minute. Okay, the scissors are tools. This is actually involved. There's no, I don't think there's any paint in it. But there's something in it because it hurts like hell. 
a tank and you got your correction fluid, which is kind of a tool, but it's involved also. All right, first thing you do is take your cardboard piece and you remove the tacks from it. Okay, two, three, four, five. Okay, your tacks are out of your cardboard piece, so you just got a blank. Can they see that, Larry? You just got a blank cardboard piece. Okay, what do you do now? Right, okay, first thing is you take your knife, your kitchen knife, and you stab it right through there, right in the, in the arm, it's the cardboard piece. You set that down like that, kind of looks like an art piece in itself. You can leave it alone if you want, set it up in your room or something. I don't know, you know, it symbolizes something. It looks damn ferocious to me. Okay, but to further the project, and which is our intentions, what you did is you take off a piece of tape. So you won't be needing this, set it aside so you don't get confused. Right, you take the knife onto the cardboard so that it's not likely to come out of there, see? Okay, now you got your knife really winged in there. Okay, and then you take your correction fluid. Now we're going to the artistic part of it. Okay, what you want to do is paint your initials. Mine are, uh, okay, paint your initials right there. Make sure it's not upside down. Make sure it's backwards. So since I'm looking down at it, I'm painting it correctly for you. Okay. There, you paint your initials right in there. Maybe you want to do a little picture, a little artwork on that house or something over in here. You know, spice it up so it's not boring or nothing. Set your correction fluid to the side. Take your spray can. Now, there's nothing in this, but at the same time, what you want to do is it adds like a gloss to it. This damn thing's going to blow. Okay, hey, there is something in it. Okay, you sprinkle that on there like that. Get that off Mom's table. She's liable to be upset. Okay, you put that on there. You take the screwdriver. You puncture little regular screwdriver holes in it. Just a couple. Just enough to amaze people. Then you take your Phillips. And, you know, you'll be able to see the difference in the Phillips screwdriver and the other one. Okay, we're running out of... All right, then you just cut off the corners. Cut off that corner there. You cut off that corner. Can they see this? You cut off that corner. You cut off that corner. Okay, now you got kind of an octagonal shape there. Okay, I don't know what the hammer was used for. Never mind. I guess, okay. Now you want to put the tacks in it. And like in certain areas here. Like there, there, like in there. And make sure they're kind of stick. Oh, God. Okay, make sure they're kind of sticking off there. Okay, the hammer was for in case the tax gave you a little trouble. You just pound them in there like that. Okay, now setting all your tools aside. Let's just have a close-up on this here. Because I think that's pretty very artistic. And you know, that would very much help you out in school and stuff. Because it's a very good project that you can do. Okay, we're out of time. Thanks for joining me, Kids Stay Off. And make sure you go to school because, you know... You know, if it weren't for programs like this, you know, you'd just be seeing a whole bunch of trash on TV. I don't know what you're watching nowadays, you know, I'm not really up with kids stuff. But, you know, just try to go to school and watch projects like this. Okay, thank you very much. Damn, that looks, I like that. You could, I don't know. It's kind of in the other way there. Okay. Do what? Do what? Now he said he'd clean up. Now he said he'd clean up. No, because last time, remember when we did the puppy thing? No, because he had to clean that one up, so he's cleaning this up too.
Kids, this is Doug Coat from Kids Day Off. They want, I wanted to make an apology for the last project we did earlier because I, it was Dame's Day, I don't know, it was the knife or something was sharp. I did get cut, but you know, it wasn't that bad. Anyway, you know, don't make the project, you know, I don't need to hassle or lawsuits or nothing. You know, and I'll just see you next week on Kids Day Off, say that, you know, we'll make a real safe toy or something, I don't know. I don't know, like we did with the puppy thing earlier, you know, that was all right. Was, there's nothing with, yeah, we'll do the puppy thing, you know, a different version, a different dog or something, I don't know. But anyway, don't make the knife thing, you know, it's very dangerous or something. Okay. I don't know, you know. Next thing you know, you have kids making sissy toys. A very right, funny wise guy to reach down his throat and rip out your pancake machines. Don't give me that. Yeah, I can take care of myself. Yeah, famous last words. I think I'm gonna hitchhike with the devil. Hitchhiking has become the number one cause of teenage death in America today. And we'd also like to state that...
Inside, surprise. Yeah, that's true. Anything free is a surprise. Right then, what is it? What you got for me, eh? I had to rip your face right off, I just did. I'm not going to 
gonna put up with this much longer. If you don't start talking, pal, I'm just gonna blow your head off. This moron's not gonna talk. What should we do, Lieutenant Costello? Do I know you? 